Hey y'all, we are back with another wig review. Today we are going to be getting into this Outre Melted Hairline Dion wig. Uh, the color of the wig that I have is the DR4 Sandy Blonde. It does come in multiple colors as always. Y'all, look at this wig. This is the wig fresh out of the pack look at that i'm in love with it already and we haven't even done anything to it but this wig does come with um soft hd transparent lace as i'm showing y'all here it is a middle part it has a five inch deep middle part um the hairline comes completely pre-plucked it does have sideburns it does have those combs in the inside and it does come with a pre-attached white elastic band y'all let's get into it yep two combs in the top and then there will be one at the bottom now outside of that pre-attached elastic band it does come with your regular uh straps that you can adjust as well y'all look at her y'all i always love having like a blonde moment i know we in the winter time right now but y'all look at her i was also in love with like the waves and the curls that this wig already had like I really didn't have to do much to it y'all let's get into this hairline like look at that y'all already know I love Altre that is one of my favorite wig brands to wear they are super easy super affordable and you don't really have to do too much work to them right here I'm just cutting off the lace as y'all can see I am going in zigzag motions because that's gonna mimic a natural hairline and give us more of that natural look we're going for Y'all, it was time to take this wig off. I loved her, but it was time for her to go. I'm just taking a little bit of alcohol on a Q-tip, and then I am removing this wig so we can get ready for Dion. And off she goes. So in this video, I just want to show y'all outside of on the days when i wash my hair before i put a wig on this is what i do in between so i can still protect my hair so what i did was put a little bit of oil along my hairline and then i'm just putting in a little bit of a leave-in conditioner and slicking my hair back down because my hair did get a little bit poofy and a little bit bigger than it was when i first washed it and slicked it down so that's what we're doing just so my hair can get a little bit um more flat like it was when i first did it Everything, everything, you know it. It's time to put the wig cap back on y'all and I, I just can't wait for y'all to see how this wig looks on me. I was so in love. I'm gonna have to pull her back out when summer comes back around. Time already. Time already. It's time already. y'all look at her already y'all can't tell me it's not giving black barbie okay like y'all i haven't even done anything to it like you this wig could actually low-key be glueless like you could go out the house like this but y'all know i'm extra i like to do the most so i'm not just gonna leave it like that we got a lot more work we need to do to it but in, in reality you really don't you could literally leave her like this but I just like to take that comb as y'all saw just so I can ensure that the part is truly in the middle because I do struggle sometimes and my parts be kind of off center but whatever we getting into it so now at this point we are about to um start laying the lace so I'm just clipping my hair out of the way and as always I'm going in with my even wig spray so I believe this time I want to say I did two layers you can do more than two layers but i like to be able to take these off if i want to at the end of the day so i don't do too much but i do want to make sure that they're still um tacked down to where they aren't coming off 
Y'all can see your girl be babbing out. Your girl was feeling herself. And here we go with layer two. Now that we have brought that lace down, I really like to make sure that that lace is melted into the skin. So like I always do, I take a rat tail comb and as I press that rat tail comb into the lace, I am blow drying it at the same time to really ensure that it is melted into my skin. For this wig, usually I don't have to, some of them I do, but I had to cut a little bit of the lace off around the ears because it did come a little bit lower than where my natural like hairline and sideburn stop at. Um, but it was nothing too hard, so I did end up doing that on both sides just to make sure that we had a secure and even fit and that it looked natural. And then I just ended up repeating those same steps on the side of the wigs, a wig as well. I do feel like though, I usually end up using more spray on the side test because for whatever reason, like the front will lay perfectly but the sides are what's tricky as to where they will come back up and they don't like to stick so i do go in with extra spray everything everything you know it you already already you know it shine already 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 Right here I just took a little bit of my foundation on a brush just to tap that into the hairline just to make sure that that lace is blended in with our skin and then y'all know I love going in with an elastic band because this really ensures that the lace will be melted into the skin a lot of these wig companies nowadays do give you like the little velcro band but I like this I actually have a roll of elastic and I can cut it off however long that I want to and I like this because it stretches so you can really um, tie it as tight or as loose as you want it to but I usually go around my hairline twice and I leave it on for five minutes y'all the black barbie was coming out the Virgo energy you can't not wear blonde hair and feel like a barbie all right so those five minutes are up and it is time to remove that elastic band and y'all will definitely see what i am talking about like look you can't even see where the lace is at y'all can't tell me this ain't my hair i'm going in again with some alcohol just to remove any residue because i have noticed sometimes once you uh, lay the lace down and you go on with that elastic band any like extra product or anything that was on there will get stuck to the elastic band and when you pull it off it will have a little bit of that white residue so that's why I'm just taking a little bit of q-tip with alcohol on it and y'all know I ain't the greatest with baby hairs but I felt like because this wig came with baby hairs I'm like you know what we gonna utilize them today I took a little bit of which I don't know if I even showed it in the video but I took a little bit of my edge booster gel that's the gel that i always use if y'all seen it in a previous video with a toothbrush and i'm just going in and molding down the baby hairs y'all look at that i was feeling myself this day because i feel like i had finally got the baby hairs on point i'm like y'all can't tell me nothing but just to make sure that the baby hairs are flat i went in again with that elastic band
Now I didn't have a certain time frame that I left it on, but just for a few minutes. You don't have to leave it on like you did the other one. But y'all, look at how snatched and how laid them baby hairs are. So now, so we can really make this wig look as natural as possible. I took my, this is actually a wig flat iron. I will link it down below. I think I linked it in a previous video, but if I can find a link again, I'll link it for you because this flat iron you're able to use on synthetic wigs and weaves. So I just took that just to flatten down the top of the wig. I didn't want to use a hot comb because sometimes hot combs get too hot and these are synthetic wigs. So once we make that flat, I just went in with a little bit of concealer just to um, really make that part more natural and define it a little bit because I felt like you could see a little bit of where my wig cap was at. So this is just going to blend everything together and make it look more natural. At this point, y'all, I'm just playing around with it, taking my comb, raking it through, running my fingers through it, like just reiterating some of the previous steps so we can really make sure that this hair is looking natural y'all is she giving black girl blonde would this be considered black girl blonde girl i know it's giving black barbie for sure like look at her, the waves are on point like i was just in love with this wig i highly 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 recommend it i will have it linked down below but if y'all like the video make sure y'all give it a fat thumbs up make sure y'all subscribe and until the next video y'all bye Man.